know that those two guys are Millie Vanilli, but their voices belong to someone else. Yep, every time they performed a song from their hit album, Girl, You Know It's True, they were lip syncing. Well, that revelation has created a major uproar in the music industry and has cost the group the Grammy Award they won last year. Now, obviously, there's something terribly wrong with lip syncing to another artist's voice. But there's another issue to be considered here as well. The issue of lip syncing to your own voice during a live performance. Recently, some concert goers have been outraged to find that the stars they've been paying a lot of money to see are actually lip syncing to pre recorded tapes. There have even been allegations that some pop stars have been faking it in the studio, too, hiring studio vocalists to supply the voices. Even if that is only rumor, there's a long list of major concert headliners said to be lip syncing on stage. New kids on the block admittedly mime to their concerts. Janet Jackson gives live audiences a lot of lip service, too. If you catch Paula Abdul in concert, you're probably listening to a tape. Even Madonna is said, during some heavy dance numbers, to be voguing her way through taped vocals. But Paul Grine, a columnist for Billboard magazine, says this musical mimicry is nothing new. It's not a new development. There have always been acts that have, have done this. I think what's new is that so many acts all at one time are doing it, and and the fact that they're the biggest acts in the business. And they've drawn fire from big guns. Last month, state legislatures in New Jersey, California, and New York took up bills that would make concert fakers confess. If the bills pass, tickets at such concerts will be required to reach vocals pre-recorded. The penalty? Uncooperative concert promoters would face fines of up to $50,000. Lawmakers may be outraged with the apparent ripoff of paying 20 bucks to watch a mime show, but how do the kids feel about it? I mean, spend that much money to see a concert. You want to see them saying not lip sync. I'm spending my hard-earned money, and I want to hear a live concert. I want to see people sing and perform also, and I'm a little upset. But some fans take a more pragmatic view. Yeah, you figure if they do sing, they probably won't sound as good. Because... <laughs> <laughs> I mean, seriously, if they're just talking, they'd run out of breath and see a band and make a stuff about show. So you'd rather see them put on a good show. Right. So why have so many pop stars taken to lip syncing? Call it the MTV phenomenon. Audiences today, the pop fans of today, were weaned really on videos and on watching MTV rather than going to concerts. Um, so they expect uh, a visual presentation. They expect a lot of dancing and movement as part of their musical package. But the flip side of this onstage fakery is the possibility that megabuck stars are hitting the big time having no musical talent. I think it's probably more true today that you can hit stratospheric sales heights with a minimal amount of talent. Consider today's recording studios use gadgets like electronic samplers, which can slice and dice a lousy crooner's voice so effectively that he or she comes off sounding like a passable pro. Today's recording techniques can turn a, a stiff into a star overnight, I mean, basically. And you can do it all in your own basement. I mean, all you need is a four-track recorder and, and uh, a sampler, and you're, and you're on your way. It basically can make a, a mediocre musician uh, uh, turn him into a great musician. Consider bands like New Kids on the Block, assembled by producer Maurice Starr. The kids had no musical backgrounds or ambitions. Had it not been for Starr, they wouldn't have become stars. I don't know that we would have done something musically, but I think, I think, we could have been on a baseball team. <laughs> but some of the harshest criticism is aimed at the duo of Rob Pilatus and Fabrice Morvan, better known as Millie Vanilli. They faked the whole thing. They didn't sing one word themselves. Those guys are a waste. The other major acts who are lip syncing are likewise playing in sold out arenas this summer and what can better be described as high-priced fashion shows rather than music concerts. Perhaps Millie Vanilli's Rob Pilatus summed it up best when he said, if you are going to be a star, you have to have special hair. Arguably, it's more important to have the right look than it is to have the right sound.